Good evening and welcome to the news. Uh, Judge Melchior Vidot of the Supreme Court will later today, uh, this evening, deliver the verdict in the murder, an attempt to murder case against Kenneth Marengo. This is in relation with the death of Hans Hackel, the owner of Castello Beach Hotel on Pralin, and his partner, Alfia Poziva, who suffered injuries. The incident happened last year. Cabinet has approved the proposed land use uh, plan for the Ansopin district. This was uh, one of several decisions taken by Cabinet during its meeting yesterday, chaired by the President. The land use plan has been revised to guide the future development of the districts. As Vice President Afif explains, the land use plan is set to act as a reference guide for prospective developers to allow them to know what kind of development are suitable for a given area. Essentially what it is, it's a plan that shows where different types of activities are designated for a given zone. For example, where are the protected areas? Where are the river areas? Where are the housing areas? Where will be the recreational areas? Where will be the utilities corridors? and where sewage will, will pass. Where do you keep for commercial development, hotel or um, guest houses, etc. So that's really what the plan was. So the details will be on the Ministry of Land Use and or Physical Planning, uh, Planning Authority website, and people will have a chance to view it and pass their comments. Cabinet has also approved uh, for Seychelles to sign a memorandum of understanding on zero emission for medium and heavy duty vehicles. This is uh, being done in partnership with the government of Netherlands and a U.S. based uh, uh, non profit organization to decarbonize the transport uh, sec sector. Vice uh, President Afif says the global MOU will set a baseline ambitions for all countries while encouraging individual countries to raise awareness. Seychelles has always stood in favor of uh, pushing the world towards zero emission and we have done our part in showing that but we have decided that we will go further and show a commitment following the COP28 meeting in December last year to join a group of 27 small island states to show that we will do whatever it takes to push that heavy duty vehicles, which are buses and heavy trucks that operate in our jurisdiction, will move towards zero emission. And to do that, what was agreed at COP28 last year was that Netherlands together with uh, an NGO called Colstart, will help all countries, especially the smaller ones, to find out and to establish a clear program of how to get there. What is getting there? It means establishing what your emissions are, establishing what the standards are to go towards electrification of these systems, and how best to do it and what investment that takes um, what planning is required in advance, and I'm talking of planning, it's not just putting up the, the charging station, it's also about how you integrate all of this into the PUC grid, because there are, there are, there, there's a number of implications for, for PUC as well. So all of this has to be planned, all of this involves technology and know-how, and uh, it's best not to reinvent the wheel, but to use technology that exists from people who've done it before and who have the expertise. So we are simply saying we will join in the memorandum of the, the, the global MOU. We're part, happy to be part of that, and we're happy to engage with these institutions so that they can help us establish a plan so that in the years to come, we will move towards zero emission for that group of vehicles. The Public Utilities Corporation, PUC, says that land sh load shedding to certain regions of Mahé was averted last night following what it described as an alarming situation on one of its two 
power station on the island. This was at uh, the Newport power station, the oldest were multiple faults developed at around 4 p.m. yesterday. Customers were not affected by the situation, which PUC says is now under control, though its technicians are still working to resolve additional technical faults uh, there. One of the main fault was a main tie line, which meant a main cable from our power station to our main substation that was feeding the consumers. Luckily, no consumers were, were affected because, because we had a third set of cable coming from Oshkama power station to feed that substation. But the issue we had at hand was that since the tie line, the main link, was out, we could not transfer power from Newport Power Station onto the network. Hence, we had to rely entirely on the power station at Oshkaima. And here at Oshkaima, um, uh, the demand was continuously increasing. We, we reached to a point where our reserve went to went too low, which was around six megawatt. This in itself is was was critical for us because if we had a another failure of one of our generator set, PUC would have have found it necessary to do some load shedding, meaning that where we had to intentionally disconnect power supply on part of our network. The annual report of the central bank for last year shows that the economy has been growing robustly and this growth has been uh, powered mostly by the tourism industry. The increase in revenue from tourism and in foreign direct uh, investments have driven the growth in the economy despite various uh, uncertainties at the global level which are affecting international trade. In a press conference to present the report, the first deputy governor of the central bank Brian Cometan has indicated that benefits from the revision in monetary policy rates should be passed on to the economy. When central bank makes a pronouncement on the monetary policy stance, uh, this is uh, in terms of signal signaling the monetary policy rate. And the expectation is that uh, whatever central bank decide on the monetary policy rate, this is transmitted to the general economy. And how this is transmitted is obviously through the commercial banks, because it's, it's through the commercial banks that uh, monetary policy is implemented. So whenever central bank makes a pronouncement or revision in the monetary policy rate, we've, uh, we expect this to be transmitted to the economy through the commercial bank. So uh, based on the latest decision that we've made um, to revise, to reduce, in fact, the monetary policy rate down, so the expectation is that this is, should be transmitted to the economy and uh, in terms of a lower interest rate when uh, private sector borrows from the central bank. We have started engagement with the commercial bank to ensure this is observed. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, we won't feel, we won't be able to see the real impact of our monetary policy decision in the economy in general. The Landscape and Waste Management Agency, LWMA, is implementing changes to the way in which it selects and works with private contractors for the cleaning and landscaping of public areas. This follows a series of consultation uh, uh, meetings which were held with members of the public, different government agencies, and contractors to learn about the concerns and difficulties faced. WMA will be opening the procedure procedure for tender next week. The application document will be on sale from the 8th till the 12th. The deadline for submissions of forms is the 26th of April. The procedure is expected to be completed by October uh, this uh, year. And the project uh, to build a new district administration office in the district of Belombre has officially uh, uh, started. The principal secretary 
for local government and community affairs, Kevin Pirin, and the owner and managing director of Turnkey Solutions, the construction company which will undertake the project, signed a contract this morning. We've come to the end of this news summary. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.